Applications of Elasticity Most materials used by us in our daily life undergo some kind of stress. It is therefore important to design things in a way that they are not affected by the stress. Principle of elasticity is used while designing bridges and the ropes of cranes. A crane used for lifting and moving heavy loads from one place to another has a thick metallic rope to which the load is attached. The rope is pulled up or down with the help of pulleys and motors. The required diameter of the rope is decided by the elastic limit of the material of the rope and the load to be lifted. Suppose the rope is made of steel and the crane has to lift a load of 10 metric tons that is 10 to the power 4 kgs. The stress corresponding to the elastic limit of steel is 3 into 10 to the power 8 newton meter to the power minus 2. Obviously, the stress produced in the rope should not exceed the elastic limit, that is, stress is less than or equal to elastic limit. Stress is equal to load to be lifted by area of cross section of the rope. Therefore, load to be lifted by area of cross section of the rope is less than or equal to the elastic limit. From this relation, we can calculate the area of the cross section of the rope. It means that the area of the cross section of the rope should not be less than 3.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. This corresponds to a diameter of about 2 centimeters for a rope of circular cross section. In order to provide for a safety factor of 10, so that the rope can lift a load of 10 to the power 4 into 10 is equal to 10 to the power 5 kg. The diameter of the rope is kept more than 2 centimeters. Further, for the purpose of flexibility, the rope is made of a number of relatively thin wires braided together. Designing of bridges A bridge should be designed in such a way that it does not bend too much or break under the load of traffic, its own load and the force of winds. It is known from the theory of elasticity that when a load W is placed at the midpoint of a bar of length L, breadth B and thickness D, then the bar sags at the midpoint by an amount delta given by Delta is equal to W into L to the power 3 by 4Y into B into D cube, where Y is Young's modulus of the material of the bar. This expression shows that to reduce the bending delta of the bar for a given load, we should use a material of large Young's modulus, and we should increase the thickness of the bar rather than the breadth, because Delta is proportional to 1 by d cube. But on increasing the thickness too much, the bar may bend as shown in the figure. This is called buckling. To avoid this buckling, a compromise between breadth and thickness is made by using I-shaped steel girders having a large load-bearing surface for the construction of bridges. After many years, the bridge loses its elastic strength due to the continuous stress and strain and such bridges are declared unsafe.